What up, Facebook worlds, internet land, and YouTube people and all that? I just got featured on Wholesale to Millions. Shout out to Kung Lee and Wholesale to Millions. Super good people, super nice people. Uh, but he had me on his show talking about my first deal, which was super cool and a lot of fun. And I accidentally blurted out my phone number on there, so that's probably gonna get <laughs> that's probably gonna get ugly here in a little while when he posts the video. But uh, thanks to thanks to Kong Lee for letting me do that. That was really fun. That, that was really cool. And uh, anyway, so I got an update on the double close thing. I keep talking shit about. I have a house under contract. It's too expensive. Uh, the owners won't come down. So it's basically I'm wholetailing it, even though it needs repairs and updates. But I get a lot of interest on these. I've been advertising the house, you know, all over Facebook, Instagram, everywhere I can. Craigslist and this and that. Everybody wants to buy it with a mortgage. Cash buyer's not interested because there's no money in it. So I called my real estate attorney to see if it's possible to assign a contract to somebody who's getting a conventional mortgage loan. And because from what I'm aware of, what I've been told is that mortgage companies don't honor assignment contracts. So I called my real estate attorney. He said, that's true. He said, the only way you can really do it is a double close. And that's one of those instances where that would come in to play. However, he did also go on to tell me that 70% of mortgage lenders um, want to see the title in the owner's name for at least two years. And there's a, a number of reasons for this. One is because people buy houses and fix them up and flip them and get a mortgage on them and everything before they do it, uh, trying to trick the uh, mortgage company into thinking that they are going to live there. And you got to have the house for at least a year, sometimes two, depending on the company before you can flip it as a, an investment property. So there's a lot of reasons why they want to see that two-year thing, but the two-year title. And the reason why, if they see you in there in the middle of it all of a sudden, then they're not going to honor, they're not going give to give them the loan for the house. And he said 70% of mortgage companies will kick that out. Uh, so it's a gamble that I'm personally not willing to take. One, because I don't want to waste my time or the seller's time or the buyer's time or the mortgage company's time, mostly my time. And in the event of, I don't want to get squeezed out of my own deal by the bank and then everything ends up going through without me and I don't make any money and I did all that work for nothing. So I'm not interested in doing a deal with somebody that wants a mortgage. They got to get their money up front somehow however they got to do it, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of complications. They need to have an inspection period. Well, I'm trying to sell the house as is, so there's no inspection period. There's a lot of things that could come into play that can just make it like, ah, fucking complicated. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not interested in dealing with the loan, uh, but I just wanted to throw that out there because I know I keep talking smack about the double close, uh, but there is an instance where one could come in handy in the event that a mortgage company would actually be willing to loan that person the money for uh, for your property that's under contract. All right, y'all. Smash the thumbs up. I was just on Wholesale to Millions. Check that out when Kung Lee drops that video sometimes probably later today. Shout out to Wholesale to Millions. Blue Ridge Renovations, baby. Holla.